As we have moved into a new year, this month in UK Fun Affairs will move into a new era. So, um, technically this is going to be the last ever episode of this month in UK Fun Affairs. Um, our reasons why will be announced in what comes uh, after the next month or so. But until then, let's have a look for one last time-ish and see what's been happening this month in UK Fun Affairs. So hello and welcome to the December 2022 instalment of this month in UK Fun Affairs, which is also the last instalment of this month in UK Fun Affairs of the year and also the last um, TMI UK FF in general. Um, as I said earlier, something will be coming in favour um, in the next month or so. Um, not really much difference really um, and I'll explain exactly what that is um, as it comes, uh, probably going to be about mid-February. Uh, the thing in favour of this, but um, jumping straight right into this, um, we don't really have anything in terms of events to cover because we didn't feel there was really anything worth covering or noting. So what we're just going to do is jump straight into uh, what new rides are coming or have come to the UK Funfest scene. We've talked about this in previous instalments of TMI UKFF, but it is finally making its first outing ever. The Confolding Group Extreme Ride built brand new for Graham Sedgwick made its first appearance at the Liverpool Indoor Carnival. This also makes it the 10th outwards facing version of this ride to reach the UK, all of which were brand new to the country. Speaking of these outwards facing Confolding Extreme Rides, an 11th one will be on the way to the UK. Denzel Dante who primarily travels in South Wales will be getting one that will be given the name Chaos. It should be completed around late January to early February in time for just before the 2023 season. And finally on to some ride changes that have happened in the UK Funfest scene. John Jordan Bills has sold his Goven Luna Park Happy Caterpillar Coaster to Carrick Broughton in Scotland. The new owner took possession of the ride after the Reading Winter Wonderland event. Jordan Gray has sold his Maxwell Waltzer named remix to Scottish showman Harrison Sterling. The new owner took possession of the ride via Taylor's Caravan Transport who transported the ride. This is also the replacement machine in favour of the base activator Lakin Waltzer that Harrison sold to Robert Cooper Jr. in May last year. James Robinson has sold his Sabima Matterhorn named Terminator 3 to Charles Church, who is the brother of Scream Machine Waltzer owner Darren Church. No word has been confirmed yet as to where Charles will first be taking the ride. Evan Moran Jr. has purchased the Nottingham UK Miami named Extreme from the Funland Park on Hailing Island. This will be the first time the ride has been out travelling since when Guy and John Evans owned it between 2005 and 2013. And with all that, back to the studio. So that's it for the December 2022 instalment of this month for UK Fun Fairs, and that is it for this month in UK Fun Fairs. Um, we look forward to showing you uh, what we have in favour of this. Um, but until then, take care of yourselves, and as always, see you later.